develop business ideas. I mean, you need a plug to be an innovator today, to be an entrepreneur, to develop proof of concepts, test them, assess the marketplace, and for some, even prepare to launch. And at the center is something for our students in a very big uh, place for their development, but it's also for our community in Connecticut. I am struck by how we need innovativeness, entrepreneurship, new business creation in the infrastructure of the economy of Connecticut. And we want to be that partner to uh, the community to fuel economic growth in the region. After all, we all live and work here. Our kids go to school here. Our parents are cared for by the services of the region. And we consume food and art and financial services of what the region has to offer. So we need to invest in this region to make it the best it could possibly be. And that's this concept of shared success, which is very real and important uh, to all of us. Our faculty and staff and our students are partners to the economic growth and innovativeness of the region. And People's United Pub um, really understand this concept of shared success very clearly. In order to grow the economy and economic prosperity here in Connecticut and throughout the Northeast, which is where uh, People's is, is functioning, we have to give our young people the tools and the support to build these new businesses, to create these new businesses, and they don't happen just out of the box. You have to be in a learning environment, to be in a nurturing environment where you can test ideas. After all, most startups do fail, and so let's have fast and safe failures in this environment so that the few great ideas that come out of here are nurtured, are supported, are tested, and then people go to borrow money, people go to spend money, people hire uh, for the economy. Entrepreneurs aren't just the Mark Zuckerbergs or the Larry Pages of the world. They're also owners of smaller family businesses, many of them startups, and we have lots of them in the Quinnipiac community. I was with uh, Bill Lyons the other night at the hockey game. Lyons Tool and Die, third generation, specializing in complex precision metal stamping, rapid prototyping, progressive dyes, and medical device manufacturing. And it's a business of over 60 years and three generations. Let me assure you that when they started the tool and die business, it was not doing the precision manufacturing that it's doing today, which is very high tech for um, the Defense Department, for medical device companies. Another great example is Dominique Tulo, who is also a third generation business owner in the wholesale and retail gas business. When he graduated, he brought in a whole new product line, redesigned their delivery routes, generated major increases in revenue. You have to constantly be rethinking the business model in order to stay forward looking because if you keep doing the same thing, you are falling behind. And Matt tells me that there are a significant number of our own students who come from exactly these kinds of family entrepreneurial businesses where we need to help them develop the next new product or the next new way of doing business or the next technology that will take them to a second, third, and fourth generation of their businesses. And let's also remember that intrapreneurs are key to our economy. People who work in large companies and are trailblazing innovators from within. No large business can be stagnant. It has to constantly be paranoid, looking over the shoulder. Because for startups today, the price of entry is often very low in the digital world. So being an entrepreneur in larger businesses is an essential tool for survival. Um, and, and many of our students are going to be those trailblazing people in larger companies that will help those companies get to the next phase of their multi-generational success. I want to also mention that uh, People's Bank, pub, I like that, um, is, is not just the supporter of this space, they're also helping us form the Center for Women in Business, which is really important 
and very close to my heart. There's a lot of room for cross collaboration between the two centers, women and business and women entrepreneurs. Female entrepreneurship is growing faster in this company than is male entrepreneurship. In fact, women found businesses in the US at a rate of 1.5 times the national average. There are lots of reasons for that. I won't give you the, the um, dissertation on that, but it's happening. So there's an important connection here between um, one that needs to be nurtured for women and for the economic growth of our country coming from the other side, the entrepreneurship side. Uh, we, we also have great examples of women entrepreneurs coming out of Quinnipiac, and I'll mention one, Annalie Pravan, who was herself in this program while she was a student athlete serving as a star basketball player on our team. So after she finished Quinnipiac, she said, not enough, I'm going to the Cordon Bleu School in Ottawa. She then spent time learning how to bake at the famed um, restaurant in Hillsburg, California, the French Laundry, the best. And then she opened her own business and bakery called One House, also in California. And she's thriving, so we love to see that kind of success among female entrepreneurs as she follows her passion. Our students, who really keep us on our toes and are the entrepreneurs, are the beneficiaries of both of the centers, supported again by People's United. So I want to extend again my thanks to Jeff Tangle and the entire team for having this vision of what they want to support in the school. Matt, for your leadership, the two marks have been key to this and our development team. And of course, Carlton Highsmith and his wife, Lita, for uh, being such wonderful trustees, leaders. Uh, Carl is the vice chairman of our board, cheerleaders for entrepreneurship here, and really community builders, pillars of the community in terms of building capacity all around our region. And we thank you both for endowing this chair. And then of course, Fred McKinney, the current holder of the Fred Heisman's Chair for Innovation and Entrepreneurship and director of the center, will just ride and hang on to your coattails as you take us to the new entrepreneurial wave that's going to start at Quinnipiac and go to the world. So thank you everyone for enabling this wonderful center.